<laughs> Good morning and happy sun Monday? Monday. Monday. Today is Monday. We're making... So far nothing. Ba well, there was bacon that was made. Did you eat it all? No, it's right here. Mm. Ta-da! The only thick cut bacon I've ever bought that's like actually thick cut. It was like Hormel Black Label or something like that. And then, so we're gonna, I've got biscuits going in here. Let's take a look at them real quick. Ready? One, two, three. Ooh, there they are. There was something weird about the, the labels like, do you want them to be taller? And I was like, yeah, why not? <laughs> and so it's like, you have to like put them together and then like cook them for longer at a lower temperature. So that's what I'm doing. It's like 20 minutes in the oven for, for biscuits. And then, so we're making like egg McMuffins basically, where I've got biscuits, bacon, cheese, eggs. There they are. That's how they turned out. They yeah. look pretty darn good. Yeah, they look really good. Biscuits are super hot, but the eggs came out like one minute before the biscuits, so the eggs are a little bit cooler. Oh. Good times. Yeah. <laughs> People often ask me, they say, Tim, what's the weather like down in Orlando during the winter time? And I'm like, I don't know, because you never tell. Like, it was cold for a day, and then it got warm, and then it got like slightly cold, and now it's hot outside. Like, I think it's like in the 80s outside right now. And then on Thursday, it's supposed to get down into, I think, like the upper mid 50s but like still have a high of like in the low 70s. So it's like, I don't know, kind of goes all over the place in the winter down here. We have had days where it's gotten down into like the 20s and 30s, not this year, but like in the past. So a while back, I read a story about a lake that was over top of a, a active volcano and underneath the volcano was going. And so the water became saturated with carbon dioxide basically carbonating the water, like soda water. And so the lake was just sitting there still, and then one day something like an earthquake or like a little volcanic eruption underneath the water caused the water to like be like shaken, almost like shaking up a soda. So all of the bubbles were released and this huge amount of carbon dioxide gas came out of the lake and like killed 1700 people because they all suffocated because there was no oxygen left. It was all just full of carbon dioxide. That was a sad story, but I wanted to say how neat would it be to go swimming in a carbonated lake? Like just imagine, like I'm sure you'd have to wear like a, like a scuba diving mask or something, like a scuba diving regulator or something, but just like be in carbonated water all like covered with bubbles. I think it'd be kind of fun. Like would you float more because there's bubbles in it? I don't know, it's like being, it's like a straw. Like the straws float in carbonated water or soda. Can you imagine swimming in a carbonated lake? Sounds like a lot of fun. Somebody's having a dream. And he's chasing a squirrel in that dream. Bandit, what are you dreaming about? You just told him. Squirrels. <laughs> so the other day I got some new shoes, which I get uh, Solomon shoes. But this is actually the first time that I've gotten a box. Like I've gotten shoes, they come in a shoe box and I'm like, I'm just gonna throw this box away. Usually we keep shoe boxes cause they're like good to put stuff in, but like, I don't have anything to put in the shoe box, so I'm gonna throw it away. It's the first shoe box I've ever thrown away in my life. I think we do have stuff to put in it. Oh no, I'm not throwing it away. <laughs> Today's been one of those clean it up around the house days where you're like, all right, we have an entire day, we need to clean up around the house, and we can't go anywhere tonight because we have a really big day tomorrow, like huge, so huge that we have to leave here at like 5.45 in the morning to get to where we're going on time, which is exciting, uh, not because we're waking up so early, but because of what we're doing. And I can't wait to share with you guys what we are doing, just can't do it right now. Like, it's a surprise. I don't even know if I can share with you tomorrow what we're doing tomorrow. I know, I was gonna ask <laughs> Which is exciting. We might just have to wait. It's, it's a real exciting day. I can't wait for you guys to see actually what happens though. <laughs> this is so terrible, sorry. Sorry we're doing this. Sorry, it's like, hey, stay tuned. Something exciting is happening, but I don't know when I can show you that exciting thing. That's how exciting it is. So I've been struggling with lenses for my camera. In case you guys don't know, we film on two different cameras. We film on this, which is the Canon G7X Mark II, and then we film on the big camera, which is a Sony A7S II. And I have a 50 millimeter, and I have a 28 through 70 millimeter, but I'm kind of stuck between whether I want something that's like super wide angle, like 14 millimeter to like 18 millimeter, or if I want something that's like super zoom, like I think there's one on there that's like 28 through 200 millimeter. So uh, when we went to Very Merry, I filmed the shows and the parade. And I feel like I could have gotten a lot more out of the parade if I had had a wider angle lens 
because they could have gotten a lot more of the action like you would have been able to see them like coming down the road and then a little bit past where I was standing rather than like coming down the road and then like a little bit ahead of where I was standing. Or do I want something that's just as wide as what I currently have, 28, that goes and zooms in really far. So I don't know, I'm like stuck. I'm stuck trying to figure out what it is. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rent some lenses. Like rent lenses for it because it's a big investment to buy a new lens for this camera. The cheapest one is that zoom lens which is uh, $800. Jeez <laughs> Louise. Eating healthy and watching old videos of mine where we went <laughs> to Grinchmas because we're probably going to go to Grinchmas soon. Yeah, look at that. Some chicken, some potatoes, and bandit sniffing my shoe. This spinach and bacon salad, we, um, we got it from Publix. It's Publix brand, and it's so good. Yes. And it's super cheap. Bandit, what are you doing? Smelling all your stuffs. Yeah. We we'll run up to Target really quick to pick something up for what we're doing tomorrow, but like this guy, am I right? Holy cow, look at this thing. It's a it's a drone, Millennium Falcon drone. Yeah. It's amazing. A lot of stuff's way cooler than when I was a kid, but some of it's just straight up a lot scarier than when I was a kid. This thing frightens me. Another very frightening thing. Wait, I didn't see Finding Dory, but like something tells me she got transported in like a coffee maker carafe, but I didn't realize they were gonna sell one as a toy. My goodness. The amount of Nerf guns that are out now is amazing to me. Also, this thing. What the heck? I don't even understand. It's not Christmas yet, and they already put the Christmas stuff on clearance. This is amazing. I feel like Kylo Ren might not be the embodiment of Christmas that everybody was hoping for. You know, Christmas ornaments, basketball, martini glass, robot, elephant, uh, apparently a donkey in a business suit wearing an upside down American flag. All I want for Christmas is a pound of Reese's. Look at this Snickers, but what's this second word here? Share. All right, so honest question. Tsum Tsums are like stacking pillows. Why do you need a pillow of stacking pillows? I had no idea there were so many robot vacuums. This one's neato. This Christmas tree cupcake thing is amazing. Turned out to be a super quiet day for us. Tomorrow, on the other hand, is going to be a little bit ridiculous, but it should be fun. So we are off to bed to get ready to wake up super early. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.